ozog of 15 spatulas.com. I'm going to show you how to make my hot buttered fluffy pretzels. And if the picture hasn't sold you on these already, let me just say that there are a few things better than a fluffy, soft, light and airy pretzel straight out of your oven, freshly baked and brushed with butter while it's piping hot. I mean, these are so good and you cannot underestimate the deliciousness of a freshly baked pretzel. Let me show you how to do it. It's really easy to make at home. In my stand mixer bowl, I've got some flour, pinch of salt, pinch of sugar, and some yeast. And I'm going to add a cup of lukewarm water to this. Give that a little stir just to get it started. And then I'm gonna add my dough hook to this and knead it on medium low for about five minutes. My dough has been kneading for five minutes. And let's take a look. So you'll notice that it's really soft, but it's not overly sticky. It's a little bit tacky, but it doesn't stick too much when I toss it in between my hands. So I'm gonna stick this in a plastic bag and let this rise for 30 minutes. I have my risen dough here and I'm gonna cut this up into eight pieces. I'm gonna work with one piece at a time. I've oiled my countertop a little bit. And you just take these pieces, roll them out to a long rope. Once you've got these long ropes, you take one side, you make your first loop like that, then you take this end piece and slip it right through that first loop, and then you've got a pretzel. I just did four pretzels for now, I'm saving the rest of the dough for later. I'm going to take each pretzel, dip it into my baking soda wash, and then straight on to my baking sheet. I'm gonna let this rise for 10 minutes and then we're gonna bake it in a 500 degree oven for nine to 10 minutes until they're puffed up and golden brown. My pretzels are done, they are golden brown and beautiful. I'm gonna brush them with just a little bit of butter. They're still nice and hot. I am ready to taste my hot buttered Pretzel. I'm so excited. They're so golden brown and fluffy. Mmm. It's crisp on the edge, but it's like a cloud, a fluffy cloud in the middle. They're so good. Mmm. So you can either sprinkle these with some coarse sea salt, or you can go to the sweet route and shake them up in some cinnamon sugar. Both totally delicious. You can find this recipe on my food blog, 15spatulas.com. I'm Joanne Ozeg. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Mmm.